RBC Capital's Kurt Haled uh, follows the sector. He joins us now on the phone uh, from Austin, Texas. Kurt, great to have you with us. Great, thanks. Uh, you know, Sheila was sort of laying out this deal very well for us. I mean, was this a badly needed transaction by Schlumberger? Well, you know, I don't know if I'd use the, uh, the word badly needed, but I think uh, it, it definitely adds two elements to, to Schlumberger's business to help them uh, continue to uh, maintain their, their market share on a global scale of the uh, total E&P spend. Those two businesses are the drill bit business as well as uh, the 60% interest in the drilling fluids joint venture that they didn't currently own. Right. Uh, I think there's also a couple hidden gems in here as well. Like what? Well, yeah, I think uh, what um – What's going to come out on this conference call here in about 15 minutes, and as the next few days uh, well goes on, is is um, there's a chance that Schlumberger, you know, may not have to uh, dispose of any of the businesses that they're acquiring, specifically in the uh, directional drilling, measurement while drilling, and logging while drilling business. Uh, this product line uh, that Smith owns is called Pathfinder. Uh, this business will give uh, Schlumberger a substantial co uh, competitive position uh, for a lot of these shale gas plays that. Are are being drilled here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, the second element that I think is a hidden gem uh, that most people don't realize is uh, Smith brings a lot of uh, downhole, uh, if you will, accessories uh, related to completing wells. Okay, and uh, that's a uh, that's a that's a market area where Schlumberger, uh, you know, will definitely get some compliment and, and be in a better position to compete uh, as well. So I think those two, are beyond the obvious drill bits and drill fluids, right? Are they uh, yeah, the hidden? Yeah, you got the pathfinder and the uh, completion tool. Okay, but why wouldn't, though, um, Kurt, because there's some talk about that, why wouldn't, though, Schlumberger uh, have to sell some of the uh, assets from Smith in order to appease the regulators? You think it'll go through whole? No, well, I think I think uh, there's definitely going to be um, a lot of, uh, I think the DOJ will definitely be, uh, a lot of scrutiny on this transaction, and I think specifically as it relates to that directional drilling and measurement while drilling uh, business. Um, but when you look at it on a on a uh, on a global scale um, uh, overall, um, you know it doesn't really move the needle substantially from a market share position, and it doesn't really uh, negatively impact the uh, the customer base. So, uh, okay. you know, I don't know how to handicap it. I'll just say it's going to become under scrutiny. Uh, the uh, but I don't think it's a, a done situation where they're going to have to sell it. Mm, okay, interesting. Well, Kurt, I thanks so much for joining us. Kurt Heled of RBC Capital talking about the Slumberger-Smith deal.